Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of the Star Kid musicals apart from Black Friday because I haven't watched it yet. I might do a reaction video to that if I can be bothered because I know it's like two hours long and I don't know if I can be bothered to edit down a two hour long video. So that might happen, might not happen. I got this idea because Amy Lovett, who is a musical theatre YouTuber, if you don't know who she is, this is her. I will link her channel down below. She is brilliant. She has currently been watching the Star Kid musical. She's done a very part of musical and a very part of sequel so far. So I thought I would rank Star Kid musicals from best, from worst to best. This does not mean that I don't like any of them. I love all of them. They are so funny, but this is just my personal opinion. So if you want to see how I rank these, then just keep watching, guys. So at number 11 is Me and My Dick. I have only watched this show once. I felt very uncomfortable while watching it. It is very, very funny. And Joe playing the penis is very, very, it is a very funny show but I felt very uncomfortable watching it and I haven't actually watched it since so that's why it is at number 11 for me. It just was not my sort of show. At number 10 is Starship. Again, I've only seen this once. I don't really have much of a, an opinion on it. I love the music and I know this is a lot of people's favourite but for me it's just, it's one of them ones that I don't I've, I've watched ones that don't sort of tend to I listen to the music or go back and watch it again and again. Nine is Annie, a parody. Um, I didn't really like this one that much. I have seen it quite a few times though because I'm just trying, I really want to like it because I know how much work went into it um, and I'm a massive Star Wars fan so I really wanted to like this one but it just wasn't my sort of show wasn't my thing. At number eight, we have Firebringer, which has one of the most iconic songs, which is, I really want to do the work today, which is everywhere. I see it everywhere now. Um, very, very funny show. Again, um, the characters are brilliant. This is where it started to get very difficult to go from eight down to two. Putting them in an order was very, very difficult for me. I just didn't, it was so difficult for me to put together a succinct order where I genuinely but oh it's very difficult for me to put together an order where I felt genuinely happy and okay with how the order was. At number seven I have a very Potter senior year. I do love this show. I've seen it multiple times now but because they only had two days I believe to rehearse it and they were all still on script it just sort of took me out of the magic of what that show could have been so that's why it's at number seven it is such a brilliant show though at number six i have got holy musical batman again i am a very big batman fan batman fan <laughs> that rhymed but this show again extremely funny i don't know why i keep saying that star kid shows are always really funny but this one just sort of is very hit on this sometimes i love watching it sometimes i don't like watching it and it's the second one first one second one where did this come out? First one with Jeff in it and I love Jeff. I think he's so funny. At number five, I've got a very Potter sequel. Um, again, I love the music from this one. This is probably one of the ones where I listen to the music more than I watch the show. I think I've seen the show four or five times, but I can listen to the music on repeat. I think it is such a brilliant, brilliant show with fantastic music. At four, I have got Twisted, which is the Aladdin spin-off musical this has got one of the best songs out of any of the star kid shows which is no one remembers Ahmed I couldn't remember it for a second then no one remembers Ahmed um but yeah again very funny short sorry I'm not with it today I'm just I can't can't think straight I'm not with it number three I have got the trail to Oregon which I love because I think I love it more because this is the first one where the audience got to choose the names of the characters and obviously the one I've seen is the one with uh, Jack Bauer, Slippery Run Wet, Mouth Face, Crap Hole and Titty Mitty. That is so bizarre to say out loud but that's obviously the version I've seen and I'd love to think what that show would have been if they'd done more nights, more versions of the nights 
um, and put them on as well so we could see what name people came up with. But it's such a brilliant show, it's so funny. Number two, I have got a very Potter musical, which is the first Starcade show I ever watched. My friend Ashley introduced me to them, so I blame her entirely for me being obsessed with Starkid. Um, again, it's got that, you can tell that it's just an amazing group of friends all banding together and just putting on such an amazing show. It's so lovely to watch. One, this is going to be no surprise to most of you because I know this is a lot of people's favourite. It's the guy who didn't like musicals. This is the first one with Joe, Joe, no, John, that's his name, John and Mariah. Um, and it is genuinely hilarious. It's got the best song. One of my all time favourite musical theatre songs at this point, which is a Show Stopper Number, which Robert sings, Robert Mannion, who deserves a lot more credit than what he gets. He deserves to be a massive, massive actor. He's so funny. But it's such a weird concept for a show, but works so well. It has that sort of horror edge to it, which I like. It's just a very, very funny show. So if you haven't seen any of them, go watch them because they're so good. And there we go, guys. They are my Starkid musicals ranked. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like me to do next. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.